Hello guys, in this video we are going to see some solutions to the OSC TF challenges. So I have discussed this, the last three solutions in the last video, so check that out as well. So let's get on to the next question, that's Kate. So Kate has the flag, but you cannot see her profile as she is not your friend. They have a link as well, so let's copy this link and paste it out. Okay, so we have a list of our friends and if you check my like my hobbies then let's, if we check Dan it gives us a hobby and if you see like for each profile so for each friend they have a profile parameter that gets changed here so for Harry it's profile equal to Harry and for Dan it's profile equal to Dan so as per the question so Kate has the flag but but you cannot see her profile as she is not, not your friend, right? So it might be because like if she is not your friend, it's not displayed here. So what if we try to change this profile to Kate? Yeah, we get Kate's profile. So we get her hobbies, but what we want is the flag. So let's check the page source and here it is so yeah there was a div with the display none style so that's why it was not visible here and we get the flag here so let's copy this flag paste it here and click on submit yes it's valid so let's go to the next question duke so duke created a game and he will give anyone the clue to find the flag provided they beat the game high score so let's copy this one let's try out the game so it starts a game and we have an accelerate button it's to go through the game okay fine so we have a score of 46 and the current score is pretty high so I don't think it's possible to like play the game and get this code and when we uh, actually touch this thing we get a message try harder let's do it again so there's nothing here so if we just touch this thing we get a message try harder so like it must must be validating on the server or it has it might have a javascript a logic that handles this so let's check out the page source so here's the whole source for this program so this game so it's entire javascript and we see here there are some ajax requests going on so let's check that out let's go to the network tab so that's in the developer options you can press f12 and go to the network tab and let's reload and start from top so let's hit something and yes okay. setting score to 44 that must be our score yes so let's try changing that score so we can just click edit and reason then we can change it to something like more than that score and send so we get a response back so let's check out the response uh, it's an HTML page so let's actually do that in our browser itself so let's set the score to something bigger and this is the same HTML that we got there so if we give the page source this is the same HTML that we saw in the network tab when you see this HTML you can notice these things like base is in italics play fair is in italics and we have a form which has a hidden input element so if you see this we can easily understand this that this is base 64 so let's try decoding this first i'll go here as ask you to x uh, on the base 64 paste it and click on convert I guess some text so so let's 
so ne- the next clue would be like seeing what is playfair there are there's actually a cipher called a playfair cipher let's google that out like we need a decoder right so playfair cipher and let's paste in our message and we have to decode this it is giving us our small keys it's, it has a key in it so it says something like keys let's copy this let's go to the other tab where did i put that okay so it actually has a route get key and a method of post so let's post try to post the key that we got just now so edit and recent let's give post and let's give get key and as a parameter we need to send key so whatever the name of the input tag is that's a parameter so we let's, let's give key equals something let's try this out first so it gives gave us something so let's go to the response and it gave us wrong key so let's try to give the key what we got got from this playfair cipher let's copy it and then edit and recent and let's give this key here and click on send let's check out the response and we have the flag let's copy that flag mm, paste it yeah paste it here and click on submit yes it's valid yes the next question would be jane jane hit the flag in flag dot data can you find it so we have a link let's copy that link paste it over here and it's a flag dot data and this too seems to be base 64 encoded copy and paste it in ascii to hex and convert this is strange because it doesn't doesn't give us a text any text but it gave us hexadecimal decimal and everything this might be because it doesn't have uh, like it it is not a normal text encoded text encoded it might be something like a file or a binary file encoded base 64 so let's try decoding via our terminal let's actually make a directory make the jane and let's create a new file flag.data paste it out and then let's try decoding it so cat flag.data should give us the base 64 and let's pipe it to base 64 decode so it gives us some printable characters and some non printable characters and it should be a binary file and by seeing this we can mostly sense it out that this is a java file java binary which should be a class file so you can see this java.lang string and print stream and you can even see source file or ztf.java so let's make it into a class file first so let's put that into a flag dot class and let's try to execute that java flag dot flag yeah and it cannot find or load main class flag the thing with java is it tries to find the class which ha- which is of the same na- name as the file name so here the file name was ozgtf.java so the compiled version of ozgtf.java would be ozgtf.class so let's move this flag.data so flag.class into ozgtf.class and then we try to execute this java ozgtf hi there you are close so 
it says we are close but uh, we need to actually see the source or get inside is somehow to know what's actually going on inside right so we can actually decompile this auzitf dot class for getting the source code so let's google java decompilers yeah this website called java decompilers dot com and we can upload a class file so here's auzitf dot class and then upload and decompile let's wait for it to decompile and we get the source code so let's copy the source code out and we'll create a new file so let's create a new file nano ctf dot java and paste it out so if you see this program you can see there's a public class called ctf and then there is some encrypt method and some decrypt method as well and here is where the execution starts in the main function so it comes here has a string 1 and it has a uh, something like an encrypted text and it is declaring a variable in of which is equal to 1 and it checks if i equal to equal to 2 then it's decrypting something and has a string called convert this to standard format and else it's showing there you hi there you are close so this stuff is probably never executed so let's change this condition to true and let's paste it no let's save it and then let's try to execute it first let's compile dot java and then let's run it it says host ctf great to see you again as you can see this is not in the standard format and if you remember this line over here it says convert this to standard format or ctf brackets and then dots so let's copy that out and go to the or ctf paste it here and change it to the standard format this should work let's submit and it's valid so that's it guys let's see the next two solutions in the next video